Assalamu alaikum everyone. Nowadays, the outbreak of coronavirus has worried us all, and the chaos it has started is a thing that everyone is familiar with. We would do anything to prevent from catching this disease. The outbreak of this virus has proved very harmful for the economy and futures of all the communities of this world. This virus has shut down schools, mosques, all gathering places and cut off all social interaction. What should we do in this situation? And let's think about the possible positive effects of since we have lockdowns in our countries. In early February 2020, coronavirus had just started to grip China and the rest of the world. And we were still discussing about trade wars, trade imbalances, and ideological indifferences based on religion and military. Never ever since the advent of humanity and its recorded history has the world been so genuinely secular and united just to be able to survive and save itself from this cataclysm. And everyone only worrying about the most primordial need of food, shelter, clothing and procreation and everyone is wishing well for everyone else just to ensure self-preservation. Videos and photos doing rounds on internet show that just a few days of forced restraint on us wise homo sapiens has healed the planet of its pollution. The air is cleaner thereby removing carcinogens. The rivers have fish again and the animals are not afraid anymore. And above all the endangered bats in China, they are having a sigh of relief. One aspect of coronavirus prevention that comes very naturally to Muslims is personal hygiene. Health organization and experts promote hygiene to limit the spread of coronavirus. Especially like uh, washing hands frequently for at least 20 seconds. But people, Islam has been encouraging personal hygiene for centuries. The Quran instructs Muslims to keep their clothes clean. In one of the earliest revelations and in the worst. Indeed, Allah loves those who are constantly repentant and loves those who purify themselves. Surah Baqarah, verse number 220. Prophet Muhammad emphasized cleanliness is half of faith and encouraged Muslims to wash their hands before and after eating, bath at least once a week, brush their teeth daily and to groom their nails and private parts. Pretty simple, isn't it? Prophet Muhammad also commands people to cover their food and drinks. He said, cover up the containers, tie up the mouths of the water skin, lock up the doors and extinguish the lamps. Because Satan can neither untie the water skin, nor open the door, nor uncover the containers. If one can cover the cooking pot, even by placing a piece of wood across it and pronounce the name of Allah on it, let him do it. Now about the condition of the congregational prayers and Friday prayers being uh, cancelled. You all know, congregational prayers in mosque, yes, they are very important for Muslim. Why they are important? Because they instill a sense of being in the presence of the sacred and a sense of being with other believers. Accordingly, they line up in rows with shoulder touching shoulder. This arrangement is extremely risky during the pandemic. That is why the mosques are being closed. Now, deciding to skip the optional daily congregational prayers was not too difficult for Muslims. But stopping Friday prayers has been more challenging. Friday prayer is the only Muslim prayer that must 
be performed in a mosque and it is a must duty basically. Fortunately for Muslims, the closure of mosques does not mean they stop daily prayers altogether. In Islam, individual prayers and worship play a greater role than communal ones. Muslims can pray five times a day wherever they are and often home is a place where most praying takes place. Now, the void left by ending of Friday sermons in mosques has been filled to some extent by uh, Friday sermons offered online. Now, about this coronavirus, through this virus, Muslims got to know many of the signs of Allah. This made him closer to him. This incident made Muslim realize and ponder that Allah's power extends all over the earth. He has the authority to do whatever he wills. This made, made Muslims ponder over the nature and how coronavirus grab, grabbed the whole universe under its paws. Due to the fear of coronavirus, many people throughout the world accepted Islam and they prayed to Allah for forgiveness. Now, uh, no one can guarantee your life, can they? Muslims are aware that Allah gives life, takes it at any time. So, they should be aware of their deeds. Prophet ﷺ said, How wonderful is the case of a believer. There is good for him in everything and this applies only to a believer. It's pro if prosperity attends him, he expresses gratitude to Allah and that is good for him. And if adversity befalls him, he endures it patiently and that is better for him. Sahih Muslim Muslims believe God created the universe and continues to actively govern its affairs. This would mean the emergence of the virus is an active creation of God. Coronavirus was created by Allah to warn and punish humanity for all the bad deeds they have done. For example, consumerism, destruction of the environment and personal excesses. This means fighting the pandemic is futile and people should rely the wakkal on God to protect the righteous. Now, a such thinking may help in reducing the sense of fear and panic in such a large scale pandemic pose, but it can also make people unnecessarily complacent. Most Muslims counter this fatalistic approach by arguing that while the emergence of the virus was not in human control, the spread of this disease certainly is. Now, if we recall the Prophet Muhammad's hadith, he advised a man who did not tie his camel because he trusted God. Prophet Muhammad said, tie the camel first and then trust in God. Furthermore, the Prophet Muhammad also advised on quarantine. If you hear of an outbreak of plague in a land, do not enter it. If the plague outbreaks out in a place while you are in it, do not leave that place. Sometimes affliction inevitably comes our way. The Quran teaches Muslims to see life's difficult circumstances as a test. There are temporary hardships to strengthen us. Such a perspective allows Muslims to show resilience in times of hardships and tribulations with enough strength to make it to the other side intact. Now, it's true in this situation the jobs are being closed down people are instructed to work from home and surely some people yes they will lose their wealth income and even if they catch this disease astaghfirullah they can lose their lives okay well then listen to this the prophet muhammad advised the grieving that property lost during tribulations like this coronavirus will be considered charity and those who die as a result of pandemics 
will be considered martyrs of paradise. Such a great reward. Keep everyone in your prayers. Say Alhamdulillah uh, as Allah has given you another day, a healthy day and Assalamu Alaikum.